I'm here on the waterfront of Vancouver, just outside our beautiful new convention centre, site of the 2016 Conservative Party of Canada convention, coming up May 26th through 28th. Now, I'm sure you, like many other Conservatives out there, are pretty disappointed with the results of the previous election. Well, what other perfect time to rebuild, rebrand the party for the future than at this policy convention coming up? Now, to preview the convention and what's going on, what you could expect if you're visiting, I sat down with Conservative MP for South Surrey White Rock, Diane Watts. All right, I'm very pleased to be joined now with the MP for South Surrey White Rock and the former mayor of Surrey, Diane Watts. And with anticipation mounting now before the uh, convention at the end of next month, uh, what can uh, visitors to Vancouver and those who are attending the convention uh, expect? Well, this is a convention where we are really coming together as a party to really have some good in-depth discussions around uh, public policy and as well the future of the of the Conservative Party. What is that going to look like? What do we need to do to evolve and uh, and make sure that we learn from the mistakes of the past and, and go forward and really create uh, something that uh, we're all very proud of? Absolutely. Uh, obviously, this is not a leadership convention. That's going to be delayed until 2017. But why is this an important policy convention, given that the, the party is now in opposition and no longer in government? Well, I think that that really speaks to uh, why it's so important is because we aren't in government at this point in time and uh, there's things that we really need to have a look at and so, you know, going going over some of the policies that we have, going over some of the, uh, the issues that, uh, you know, the underlying issues as to why we weren't in government and uh, just making some changes and making sure that uh, our fundamental uh, policies continue to be in place because I mean I think as we looked through the tenure of, uh, when we had Prime Minister Harper through the 2008 uh, uh, global crisis we came out very very well and pulled this country right through it and so you know we're very strong on a number of those fronts and then we need to be uh, looking at other things as well. Okay, and uh, you know, as far as I know, the last Liberal Party convention was a policy convention that didn't actually allow the everyday rank and file members to really shape any of the policy. How is the Conservative convention going to be different? How can everyday members get involved and be a part of the future? Well, actually, they can sign up as a Conservative member and then join their uh, their riding association and become a delegate. And it's uh, but also too, you know, there's it's not that's not the only way to have input. Uh, I, for instance, have a youth uh, council, and so I've got about 18 youth that I, uh, you know, that, that you know, I throw things at them and they give me some feedback. I do community consultation and get the feedback from the general public as well. So there's many different things that can shape public policy, and then it's up to us to take those things forward. That's great to hear. And uh, so la last question, basically, is there any uh, particular policies that you would like to see uh, the Conservative Party adapt or is there anything that's been interesting you that might come up that might be something new for the party to look at going forward, a position maybe they haven't taken in the past? Well, I think there's a lot of uh, really good public policy initiatives uh, already in place. And I think probably we needed to be a little bit more vocal and communicative about that. And, you know, the energy one, for instance, it's, it's uh, you know, not just about uh, the oil and gas industry, and that's a very big part of it, but it's also what does it look like in the future? How do we, um, how do we change? Are we going to change? How do we need to bring, uh, bring the industry? along uh, and all of those elements so we've already had some of that in place and we've already been having those conversations over the years we just didn't get it out to the forefront and so th you know that's one thing that I think we'll be identifying is the the public policy pieces that are in place already and how we bring them to the forefront because a lot of uh, you know some of what actually is um, is being repackaged by the Liberals uh, are actually initiatives that we undertook and so it's uh, it's going to be really important to make sure that we're communicating that. Excellent. All right, so you know that the Rebel and all your favorite uh, Rebel hosts will be at the convention, so keep it locked on the rebel.media for all the coverage. For Diane Watts, MP for South Surrey White Rock, I'm Christopher Wilson for the rebel.media. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.